Hey guys, welcome back to a bit more Factorio. Uh, so we have our smelters and shit going. Like I said, I was gonna upgrade some of the assembly machines, and that was a straight up lie. Uh, we're not doing that. Uh, we're, we're gonna do instead, we're gonna feed these machines slightly a bit, a bit better now. Um, we need to actually start thinking about upgrading our, our iron patches, actually. So, and we also need some more radars, I think. My humble opinion. But we'll, we'll do the iron patches first, I think. We could use a bit more on this side, actually. It's uh, far more important. So we're back, um, and we're having fun, and we have a lot of ammunition. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I guess we should go just check out down there real quick. This doesn't need to be here. Uh, yeah, holy moly. Yeah, I think I should start putting like five turrets everywhere, but I don't know. I I, I kind of want to start making uh, some better <laughs> some better resource uh, management stuff because uh, yeah, this is like not going to fly for very long. All right, let's just take out some of them. We want like fifteen each one, and probably double walling them pretty soon would also be pretty good. Problem is, I don't have uh, resources forever for that. The problem is mostly that we don't have enough gears, but we're making them as fast as we can. But fast as we as fast as we can is simply not fast enough. Need some more gears on top of that. Apparently, you just kind of ran out over here. Go figure. Oh well. So uh, we're probably gonna also hit the iron patch at the bottom there as well. Um, Probably gonna have to deal with this sucker here though before we do that, but I would kind of like to have a couple more turrets before I make that dream into a reality. Uh, something like this. Oh, I actually don't have uh, any belts with me. The fuck? I don't have to manually make those, do I? No, I'm not a fucking plebeian. I don't, yeah, I got like 38 there. There's some there. So it's, a, it's just that our um, our gears are actually having a tough time right now. But we're trying to get advanced materials processing because that is actually one of the bigger things that we can get to really upgrade our uh, capacity for production, so. Oh, oh give me some belts. Uh, hello, guys. All right, see you later, guys. We'll do something like this. I know it's all going to like this side, but I, it'll be fine, don't worry. Can't be dwelling in the past forever. All I know is that we do very much need, uh, are in need of like some better iron production and stuff like that. It's just like like we just aren't getting the raw resources to the end here, so that's just kind of what the problem is. So we're gonna fix that slowly and just make sure that everything is fine here. I don't really like this one, but whatever. <clears throat> that that one's gonna probably not stay up forever anyways. It's an unfortunate set of circumstances. Uh, can we kinda go... Cause it just occurred to me I have to get like something over here. So we'll do something like this. Cause we wanna kinda get the top part here, this these patches as well. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. Even if it means not being as efficient as we would like to be sometimes. And also these, these suckers are also running out of ammunition. So, uh, we really have to rush up to the flamethrower tech. When when we can get the flamethrower tech, then we then the game actually kind of like becomes more manageable. But until that point, uh, yeah, we have problems. This will hit the, both of these, so that's actually good. We'll do this as well. We only need a couple more in that area, so... We'll, we'll just uh, hit it the best we can. I'm also gonna move this copper uh, actually up here. And by the way, this was a total mistake, what I did here. Uh, making so many furnaces for that. Uh, like, it just wasn't that... Like, you notice how there's only like four going at a time. I completely forgot, like, that I, I do actually do not need that much copper. Like, we, we can essentially get the next level of, of tech for it, actually. Um... And we don't have to care. Alright, we'll get one more. 
and then I, I'm thinking pretty good. We're just waiting for advanced material processing to finish, and then I'll feel a lot better about doing this stuff. And then and then I'll uh, upgrade some of these furnaces. All right, is this good or is this good? I think we need this. I mean, it doesn't do much for this this little patch here, but I think we're just gonna deal with it. It's okay, so you can't get them all sometimes. Sometimes you can't get all of your, your iron patches. Uh, Alright, let's see how power is doing. Alright, it's not doing great. But this is unfortunately not a scenario of things that we need, so... Um, let's go steal all this steel, and then we can actually now get steel axes, which is actually a more efficient version of the iron axe. So in fact, we're gonna just get rid of this thing, just put it like near the water or something. Maybe grab another fish while we're here. Okay, I'm gonna, apparently we're not gonna grab another fish. So apparently steel axes are more efficient for uh, fishing. Who would have thought? Whoever thought. Alright, so now we have a couple stacks of this stuff, so that's actually not bad. But I can tell you right now, like, it's just we need to get a ton of iron. And uh, once we get that going, uh, we can just upgrade probably this first row of furnaces here. It's kind of going a little bit slow. And it's all because of the gears. Uh, I don't feel like upgrading anything right now. That's why I didn't bother to upgrade anything. Oh, uh, what's the slow part here? Well, I mean, we could just kind of handcraft a bunch of these. Because the problem is that the, the gears are slow. I mean, there's one way you can fix that. You can just, like, increase it like that. I don't know if this is really necessary, though. Okay. I mean, I guess it's necessary. And I mean, the other thing you can do is you can just add another one there, and so these are these are like the the, the faster machines for this for this crap. I can already see like a lot more is coming down the line, so maybe we'll just do this because we're we're just about to like we're literally on like the very edge of upgrading all this garbage, anyways. So usually we get to this point where like yeah. I know, I know it's like, oh, we don't have enough, like, iron coming through everything, like, it's just, but trust me, it's, it's all gonna work out. We got the new, nice new furnaces. Um, I guess I can show you, so, um, the difference between them is, this has a crafting speed of two, while this normal one has a crafting speed of one. What that means is it's twice as fast, and you're like, well, why would you get that? Well, it's actually twice as efficient with the fuel that you give it as well, so the one coal actually makes twice as much. Uh, so that's why it's actually extremely super nice for me to get. Um, but that's why we're kind of doing things the way we are. Um, we're eventually going to need um, an entire line dedicated to steel. Which I will decide where to put that later. I mean, I, I, I already regret my choice of where to put where I put my uh, gears here. But, you know, it's, uh, so it's sometimes how things go. Sometimes you make uh, incorrect decisions. Uh, and we're also going to have to think very deeply about how to make uh, some better sciences. What the hell is that? Is that a base? I'm actually going to go scout that out real quick. Oh no, it's nothing. It just disappeared off the map. Yeah, that's also why I want to uh, raise the amount of uh, radars we have as well. Uh, so there's like a bunch that we need to do. We're gonna make a bunch of this stuff. Let's make another set of steam engines. One, two, go. Oh. Need more iron plates. You might as well call this game Factoria the Quest for More Iron Plates. Alright, we're gonna add another row of uh, things over here. And this place is already like having major problems, but I don't have any turrets here. So, I'll show you how we add an extra row. We need, actually, <laughs> two, uh, some iron plates. So, uh, like I said before, we can have up to 40 steam engines uh, running off of this one thing here. So it's it's re really quite nice. Uh, but we do have to add spacing so that the power poles can kind of make it in between these. Now, mind you, you got to keep in mind that every... Every set of steam engines that you add to this also makes it so you're consuming more coal. So this singular coal supply, as you can see, is like 
now utilizing more and more. So uh, now this is when we start to consider to ourselves to get uh, Military 2, probably, and then we're going to probably go into Bullet Damage 2. Um, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So... Uh, well, so now that we're done this, we make as many steel furnaces as humanly freaking possible. And while we're at it, the very first thing that we upgrade with this, with this is, uh, we actually upgrade the, uh, s the steel furnaces. Uh, sorry, the furnace is making the steel in the first place. If you upgrade that, then everything else kind of falls into line. So we're making as many as possible, and then I'm gonna basically make some turrets and then head out. So we can now get some of the researches done that were related to uh, something that you're gonna see. Steel is once again is just the problem. But yeah, this is why like this is why this is just enough steel furnaces for the time being. We don't really have to concern ourselves too much with anything else. So I'm making as many as I can though. Yeah, I have five more. There you go. There you go. These are you're gonna notice that these are gonna go cycle through much faster. Then I do the bottom row here, and then this one is not as important. In fact, I would say that we need to now tap into this iron ore patch right here. But in order to tap into that, we're gonna need um, we're gonna need turrets, lots of turrets. So let's start kind of making our way through that. I'm also gonna get some more ammunition actually while I'm at it. And by more, I mean I'm just gonna produce it faster, slightly faster. We're not quite at the point yet, but it's it's very limited by steel right now. But you can tell it's actually already more coming through this one side. In fact, I'd almost say that, like, I, I think that this line needs to kind of, like, uh, I'm merging it kind of into one, which is actually not the play. But, um... I'm trying to debate how to do this. Okay, we need, well, first off, we need some more belts. Which I don't have very many, many of. I think I know how I'm actually going to do this. This is more of a temporary thing. Which is a word you hear me use a lot, but... I'm actually going to do this. This way, this way they both come all the way through, and we can... we can. This was not... I, I was not going to attend to this to be a, a, a permanent thing anyways. Alright, let's get the bullet damage right now. Because it will make my existing ammunition just, like, so much more... Last so much better, so... Let's see, two more... Yeah, th those stone bricks that we're making, we're gonna, like, need, like, tons of them. Alright, what do we need for turrets? Uh, mostly gears, actually. We're gonna just eat it off the line here. Uh, how many do I need? need? That four seems like a, a solid number. Alright, now you can see that now they're not even actually making it to the end anymore. But ten is usually the perfect number if this line comes in fully saturated. Um, it looks like it kind of doesn't. I, I'm actually not sure why it's not doing that. They've done so much crap to belts that, like, I'm, I'm, as I said, like, there's, there's little gaps here and there, but no reason actually for it to do this, to be perfectly fair. I'm actually really sad, because I've only, I've only just started up, uh, belt optimizations. Like, I don't actually see a reason why this is, like, this, there's a hold up here causing spaces in here. Which is actually completely messing up my uh, my belt here, but you know what? We can deal with it. Like we're we're big boys and girls. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something like this. Maybe just the two at the end aren't gonna do anything. Honestly, do I have any more? Yeah. All right. Let's get the last one. All right. I don't know if they're even gonna make it to the end. Because, like, this one seems much more saturated than the other one. I find this to be, like, really weird. Except it's not, because now it's not doing it anymore, so... Whatever, I'm not a wizard. What can I say? I will leave that for actual wizards. Alright, let's go start thinking about... Alright, let's just make sure that we have enough ammo in all of them. I mean, I probably should repair this one. Uh, we'll go over there. Uh... And then we got it. Okay, you know what we're also gonna do? Actually, I think I'm gonna need more space here, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make the biggest mistake of our lives. And do something like, we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna surround this with the wall first. 
This is probably going to be one of the first, like, this is such a hot spot for some reason. There must be a nest actually to the side there, which is kind of the reason I want to actually make more radars, which I can actually do. Let's actually do that for a sec. All right. How much more power do I have? All right, let's let's do let's do that real quick, and then we'll go down and do the other stuff. So as you can see, this is not like completely saturating, but not quite to the point I would have wanted it to. Um, I, I I'm finding the game kind of odd right now because it's just uh, it, sh it it actually should be making a little bit more. Let's try to find some iron. Yeah, you don't need so much iron here. Some of your iron. All right, another one there. How many more? more maybe like six of these things I'm not, I'm not sure actually you know what we're like wasting our shit making microchips here yeah and I, I maybe just one more and then I'm good there we go okay that's enough radars we're probably gonna need more turrets but that's that's okay because we actually want to scan very fast actually because uh this is one of the things I'm actually kind of concerned about is the rate of which I'm actually scanning because I actually want to see if there's bases around. So let's see. So th these things actually consume a lot of power. Like almost as much as the miners that we have. Which is the most like consuming thing that we have. Uh, let's see. How many turrets do we have? Two. Okay. Let's make two more and then I will be satisfied. What do I need for this? A little bit more iron plates. Alright. I don't think there's much else I can do. I mean I, I know I can make piercing rounds and I know I can make grenades. But neither of which is actually very practical things for what I'm trying to do right now. I, as I said, that place is the one that's getting like hit up the most, is that right side. But the thing is, they have to go around the water, so those are naturally going to be some of the places that actually do get hit up a little bit more. So Because the water does actually count as a natural defense. Oh shit. Hey, it's fine. Just dance around in circles. I don't know where they came from, but whatever. We'll just take out this last nest here. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Oh, these guys aren't in range. Actually, I have four. I didn't realize. This is actually the best way of dealing with Nessus early on. You know what we're going to do? We're going to just scout the perimeter just to see if they've made any forward expansions. Uh, because that's the only way we have of seeing if they have forward expansions. Now, the reason why forward expansions are bad for us... So, they, they do this thing where, like, every... Like, I don't know, what is it, like 5 to 60 minutes? Like, it's a big range, so you can never predict it. Um, they basically try and make an expansion, and the expansion just counts as, like, there's just one biter, or maybe a group or something, that comes over and then just makes a base. They start a base. And the base gets worse and worse as you continue on. So the candidates are the best. They kind of go towards pollutions. That's just how they work. Uh, they, they like going towards pollution. Um, but the thing is... The more, the, the closer they come to your base, it means that the more um, pollution, uh, the more they're affected by pollution, they, they spawn biters actually more often. Uh, because regardless of Sand's shitty dis dissipation um, of pollution, um, it still dissipates pollution. That's the thing. It still does its job. Uh, so... Yeah, there's one right there. That That is new. And they also tend to spawn like small worms and shit like that. So if I get rid of this, it will kind of help out here, but yeah. yeah let's just repair these, because we're going to be using these a lot. Because unfortunately when it comes to worms, the only early game thing we have is actually just making... And I just saw... Uh, I can eat. I can eat through this. We can tank it all. I think I just saw. Uh, oh, that was a. That was something else. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to bring these guys up. 
Well, they're having fun over there. Fucking dicks. Uh, I think I see another one there. We should just run away from this. Uh, I think we're gonna need to put down turrets. Alright, this is a little bit more than I counted on, I won't lie. <laughs> Alright, let's just run away. Yeah, there is one right there. Oh no, is, is that a base? Yeah, there is one right there! Fuck. Well, they destroyed what was making things. That's not fun. Ah. Okay, we may need to actually increase this slightly. And I, yes, I realize that there's a base there now. It's like I predicted that like they're basically gonna do shit like this. Okay, we need to be a little bit more up. And we need to have a little bit more things here. This is the perfect time for them to attack, by the way. Luckily they're not ranged yet. Alright, let's just heal these for a sec. Jeez. Alright, let's go get the two minor drills that I had going here. How big is this? One, nine, two. Actually, this was almost done. So we gotta take out that base, unfortunately. So it's not like actually that had a lot left, to be honest. Alright, how many more can we make of these? Uh, we're out of stone bricks. Oh, that's not fun. We may actually have to go make a temporary thing down at the bottom to actually tap into that. And the thing is, we also now need electronic circuits, and copper needs to be increased as well. So, because it's a copper problem here, it's not anything else. So, I mean, I can hold on to all the stuff that we keep getting. Uh, but yeah, now I just use the rest of my turrets here. Yeah, there's actually no more anything here. Oh well. We're actually perfectly fine here. So, this is gonna just do a bit more. Uh, yeah, this is enough for now, with regards to stone- it'll get me all the stone furnaces that I need. That's the, that's actually the, the problem that I have. Uh, but we actually do need to go down to the bottom. But first things first, we're gonna take out that base. Which means now I need to make a new set of turrets to basically handle that. This is part of Deathworld Factorio, guys. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta tap it. Yeah, you can see, tell that the iron is actually the serious problem now. Alright, we're gonna get those mines going. Uh, how many more repair packs do I have? Alright, five. And how much ammo do I have with me? May not be enough ammo, but we'll kind of deal with it as we go. Maybe I can make some... Maybe I'll make some grenades. While I'm up here repairing stuff. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take out that nest, because that's why they're, they're actually coming here so frequently. Luckily, as I said, we're now scanning it at a much higher rate now, so... Which we can just turn it off eventually. And speaking of which, how's our coal doing? Coal is still okay. As soon as that's done, we're gonna basically just pull out of this area. Like, there's actually no reason for us to be here. Except for to get the rest of the stone. Alright. So yeah, this is, they're closer to my pollution clouds, so that's why they're a problem. Okay, this is a problem.
I'm trying not to lose this shit. And I'm also trying not to die. So as you can tell, they have a little bit of things here. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous, actually. But that's what they do when they're that close to your pollution cloud, though. Alright, you know what? Whatever. We're just gonna have to deal with this. I gotta get up there, and I gotta prevent them from, uh... Because I just killed most of them, so... It should prevent a lot of them from spawning. Alright. Shit. It, like, it loaded at the ex his exact worst time. Thank goodness we have fish. Alright, that should handle that. Like, as you could see, there was like a massive attack there. But I, I actually don't want to waste any more time with this. We actually want to get going on military science, like, now. Oh, no, no, we can't go do military science. We need iron first. So you know what that means, guys. It means that we're fucking going down there. But we just cleared it, so we're good. I mean, it's now kind of utilizing everything we can with iron, so... Yeah. Luckily, all we do need is a little bit more of everything. I, was, I don't really know why it's spacing out like this. It's just, the, the game's weird these days, what can I say? I cannot, I could not give you a definite, definitive answer of why it does this. Also, it appears that our green ships are now the problem, so maybe we should do that first. So maybe we will do that right now. So this place right here was literally the worst idea I've ever had, so... Actually, or is this done now? No, it's not quite done. Alright, so we're gonna upgrade the, this guy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how we're quite gonna do that. Actually, you know what we can do? We can do this. There we go. And kind of like something to get the top here. But I don't hate myself. But too late. Probably gonna hate myself anyways. Alright, do something like this. Fuck, seriously? Okay, we're gonna have to go get some more of that, but yeah. So this is actually a pretty good solution for right now, but I did want to change where I had this stuff, that's the only thing. I mean, this will, this will fix our copper for right now. Um, or a question of, do I want to be spending a whole bunch of time uh, re redoing this? And the answer is really no. Because I don't actually need that much. So let's instead focus more upon electric poles. I have a, they have a load for that. No. Of course not. I literally just fucking placed this. I'm fucking... No. no, no. We're, we're loading in your fucking... Uh, yeah, this is just... At the wrong moment. <laughs> Just as I was about to click it. Alright, I remade it. And this looks like this place is up, th up there is done, so... Uh, let's continue. Oh, we can't do that one. Well, that's a question of do we want, like, something else, like energy distribution, things like that? I don't want to rush to our other stuff, but... Question, do we have time to stuff for energy distribution? Uh... Well, the answer is maybe. Kind of need this, but at the same time, it's probably not on the agenda. What did I just finish? Do I never do gun turret research? 
Oh no, I did bullet damage. Right. Well, maybe we should do these. Okay, well, we have what we need, so that's, that's all good. All right, we're gonna have to build it more this way. The hope is that if they attack in some random direction here, we'll be able to get them. Yeah. This is wonderful, trust me. So we can now actually just completely disassemble the stuff making stone. And hopefully we won't need any more than that. Because to get it we have to go somewhere not so nice. I mean we have like several stacks so I think we're okay. But we're going to take this all with us because we can reuse it actually. Now over here is where I was going to actually make the new layout for the copper, but I think we're not going to actually do that at all right now. Because uh, we simply, A, we don't need that much. B, I'd have to replace it all. Alright, this gives us a fair bit more ammo not having this here. I notice how like the, the attacks have actually sort of stopped here, actually. So, there's probably one more to the left there, because that's where a lot of the attacks are coming from over here. They're very strong in that direction. I don't think it's that one. So we get six turrets, it's good. And several stacks of this stuff, so... We'll give it like a... I don't know, I'll see if it like under this one. Yeah, it looks like we now have more copper coming in. Good for us, but we're gonna just uh, now explore slightly to the left. Unfortunately, the radars don't necessarily show us this thing new spawn because they have to rescan the previous area. It may take a while to do that. I mean, how's our power? It's still good. All right. I'll check it out because it's it's hard to tell. Like it, it's it's the over aggression kind of tells me that maybe they did make one here. Thing is, you simply can't know because the, the other thing was we did kind of upgrade the furnaces. Like, drastically so. Alright. It looks like that nothing did happen there. Alright, is there anything else we want to get real quick? No, we just want to come tap into the iron there. This unfortunately is also a waste of time, because... <laughs> we're just kind of going here and, like, uh, doing really nothing. Hey, you know what? That's sometimes life. Yeah, you can actually see like a huge wave over here. Luckily, as I said, they're diverted to the other stuff, so... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make uh, power poles. So, there is actually kind of a reason we went over here. And just a complete waste. We're actually gonna chop some wood, because we need to make it down all the way to that iron there. Or we actually head down there. Whoops. I don't know why I pressed. Alright, so the, that looks good as well. Uh, so we're going to make all the power poles we can, and then we're going to then uh, hop to it and then make a bunch more. Um... So yeah, it looks like we've done as much as we can with regards to the defenses in this manner. So let's go get these things coming. Yeah, so it looks like all the all these furnaces are now going, but we, as I said, I don't feel the need to upgrade those. So while making better use of the existing resort, existing shit that we have would be nice, it's not required. Uh, uh, we need more of this stuff. Yeah, I can actually see the copper now uh, backing up now, so that's good. Just need more green chips though. Now mind you, we can upgrade these all to like the better assembly machines, but once again, uh, I don't really want to be wasting resources on that. Okay, you know what we're also going to do? We don't need this many gears. We're going to do that. So more iron will make it past. Alright. It's a solid number or something like that. How many bells do we have? 31. Or, well, we have 100 there as well. We'll also take a stack of those as well. 
I mean, there's a lot of good reasons to upgrade this kind of this stuff, but we just simply don't have the time right now. All right, do it down here. We're gonna make our way over to the. Actually, wait before I continue here. Uh, take one of these because we need vision down there very important that we're able to see what's what's going on there and we're also going to plug into the coal uh, right after this as well this is kind of why you see me placing things the way you do it's a it's a double-edged uh, adventure here because actually I'm starting to think that the coal is going to start to run run low. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but like once that, that coal runs dry, then the, the base runs out of uh, power, basically. Alright. Uh, the question is, how, how do we tap into all this wonderful iron here? And the answer I have for you is, I really don't know. But this is a good start. And there's a rock here. Like loaded up at the exact moment. I'm not sure how much we need. We do need to give it a bit of space here though. Uh, this is how many? This is six? Yeah, this is good enough. Well, we can't see what's going on over there, but let's just hope that that number doesn't go up anymore. I don't like this at all, because... I hate the way this works. Because then the biters will go like, hey, I can't attack the turrets, I'm going to go attack something else now. So that's obviously not a good thing for us ever. But we're going to try and prevent that. Alright, so this is good enough ammo, uh, ammo and all these. Oh, oh, hello. Alright, we'll just like leave a sensor thing right here. Now, like I said before, um, I don't know if you've, you've he heard me about this, but like, um, they actually don't attack... They only attack pollution generating buildings, radars, and some other stuff. They actually don't really go after other stuff uh, other than that, so... Uh, so... Oh. You guys just let me do my thing here. I'm actually not really pleased that they're doing this. And, and obviously they'll attack me. That wasn't abundantly clear. Doesn't have to go this far over here. We have to check over our science stuff. Oh, that's a done already. That's done anyway, so we gotta go head over here anyways. So we could probably move this down there as well, so that's good. Yeah, we may have lost something there. Alright, so a good thing that we have that ammunition thing still making ammo for us. Uh, so what did you have a problem with? Oh yeah, so I, this one stopped getting ammunition. We'll just feed it whatever it wants. All right, we'll do the next one too. Um, these are actually starting to run out of ammo. Luckily we're here and we saw it. it. Would be nice to get some vision over here though. Really, I don't have another one? Well, I can still make another one. more space here. Yeah, there's really no reason not to have five turrets in every single place here. So I, I gave him like 50 rounds. And so to fix my little vision problem that I, that I this is like a blind spot as you saw, uh, it's a very easy fix actually uh, to do that. So we just take one of the radars and we just move it over to the left. Probably beside these things. Actually you can already see that our coal is actually starting to run out. Uh, because 
You can actually tell by the fact that um, they're not. It's not backed up anymore. All of them are mining all the time. So anything further I add to this is going to be a problem. All right. So let's stop over here for a sec, and uh, we're gonna double wall this one now. We're gonna take the trouble areas. And we're gonna we're gonna put two walls around them. Uh, do we have any more? Okay, good. I can make a couple more. This is what I deem as a trouble place. And by the way, the reason why we're actually wasting repair packs on this shit is uh, we don't really have many more walls, so... So we have vision now over here, and we have vision over here. Alright, but we need more... We need more belts first, and then we can belt it into that. Luckily, we've already made a system to basically incorporate it, so we don't have to do much more with that. And as soon as we get all that, uh, we're going to now then start working on some of the other stuff. Yeah, not, not getting the gun turret upgrades was actually a mistake. I mean, we technically did still get them. Actually, we're going to do this. Which means that it can just go like this. Because we're trying to conserve this stuff. So now these two things will have their own furnaces for them. So, that's good. Now we can actually upgrade these as well. Okay, I'm not sure how much more I want to make of these things, but whatever. Of these, uh, these super furnaces. Because we actually may not need that many. I'm just going to assume that it's going to make it to, down the line. Because these are fully saturated, so... 10... When the last time I played the game, which was fi version 15, 10 was enough. Uh, 10 was like the, the magic number. It may be not... It may not be the magic number anymore. I may have realized this just now. Looks like uh, gears became a problem again. But then again, we just did upgrade our... Our gear capacity, so... Uh, we can actually... We can happily do this now. Because now we have way more iron coming in. We just tapped into another source. Uh, we're gonna see. So yeah, there, this the, we can use a we you can use a couple more iron lines on the other side. It's fine. Just gonna make sure we have enough to come with us. Jeez, I just don't have any iron gears, do I? We're gonna leave copper completely alone now. Uh, I think the only thing I will do is I might upgrade these assembly machines. But it looks like it's having a problem with iron and nothing else really actually right now. Yeah, it's just iron now. I mean, easy fix is, uh... Just put a bunch into the machines in the first place. Like, it, it's coming down the line now, so we're actually much better off. And then, and then coal right after, actually. If not right now. Well, I guess not right now then. How's our power doing? Power is still good. Just barely good though. But this is, uh, by the way, this is why you see the oil here and the two iron patches, because I kind of knew this, this would be the case, which is like, you know, I knew this scenario would basically kind of depend upon this kind of stuff. Like getting these resources. Uh, good, there's another stone here. So, uh, another good way of making it fully saturated is actually do things like this. So... I oh, will do something like that. Alright. So, the thing I've realized in this new patch with the new, with the new splitters... Oh, shit. Alright. We may need to change where you guys are at. Guess you're gonna be over there now. Because for some reason, they're not attacking from the bottom like I thought they would ever. And who knows, they still may. Are 
you joking? They actually made it through. They actually found like a blind spot. Like they love that. They love blind spots. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go repair that when we get up back up there. There's nothing I can do. There's literally, I, can't, I cannot walk fast enough to fix that. All right, this guy can go like right here. Fucking seriously, dude. Well, we've kind of done as much as we can here. Uh, even though this doesn't look like it's actually fully saturating, but which is unfortunate, which means we actually do have to come back down again. And 99 problems, guys. What can I say? Yes, I know. Fucking assholes. I just take that one. There we go. I don't know if we actually did need this many, but you know. I was kind of pleased with the way I had this working out before. I mean, something has to move here. What is the problem now? Oh, it's just com it's complaining that... Hey, you killed stuff. Or stuff died. You know. Typical things. I, I can't really move it around, but... This one angle, man. Why, why did they not shoot? You, you, know, you know, I think I think I think I know what the play is. It's I, you know what? It's gonna be great. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna bait them in with a with a one of the the radars because I think they're gonna prefer to destroy the radars over everything else. This is how we're gonna fix this without having to move anything around. We get some more gears. And some ships. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're going to bait the stupid biters because biters are dumb and we do not respect them in the slightest. Uh, so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna give them a nice juicy this thing to attack. So what's the range of this guy? Yeah, something like over here. All right, that is a little bit more than I asked for. Uh, fuck these guys. Well then. Cue the Starship Troopers music. <laughs> this is just before the attack? Or no, this is just before I went down to get the other stuff. Jeez. Yeah, you guys thought I was messing around when I said this was difficult. It, it really is difficult. I am not playing with you. Okay, we're gonna keep these grenades with us for now on, just so I can have them in a pinch. Uh, alright, that's... I don't know why those back ones don't work, it actually annoys me. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna take one of these... Radar dishes. Bring it over. Like I said, I think I think the bait will work because they're gonna basically go after the 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 that and they're gonna get they're gonna get wrecked. So okay, yeah, you guys are low. Uh, actually, you're mostly low. This is definitely a situation where we want two vines. Are they attacking or what? I'm bored. Okay, I guess I guess the they changed their mind. What was I doing here? Yeah, biters... Biters are relentless. Like I said... If you give them... Bait... They should take the bait. So they should come over here, get attacked, and then go after the turrets. Okay, where's the giant attack that just wiped me out? I don't even know. Whatever. Well, nothing but disappointment for me, I guess. Uh, let me just take all this crap. Well, I guess we'll uh, determine next time, guys, on 
what we do with the inviters. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, guys. Peace.